recording. Good morning, Sonoma Dolphins. Today is January, oh, oh my gosh, it's February 4th. And today we have another special guest for you. You guys asked and back by popular demand is, reveal yourself, Mr. Willett. It's not Mr. Parker, it's Mr. Willett. <laughs> Hi guys, I've missed you, I'm glad to be back. So we're gonna start off today with a shout out to a teacher, Mr. Chamberlain teaching second grade. He is a fantastic teacher, deserves to be recognized today. He's fun, he's engaging and positive. He's a dynamic teacher and when faced with challenges, he models firsthand how to persevere and he stays positive every step of the way. We are so glad you're part of our team, Mr. Chamberlain. Okay, and so our next deaf shout out go to Ashna Doss and Samantha Madrigal. They are two of our nursing staff on campus and they are amazing. These two nurses go above and beyond like whatever our site needs, they are right there with us. And so we totally appreciate that. Um, they are one of our greatest resources and we really, really appreciate them. So thank you, Samantha, and thank you, Ashna. All right, for student shout outs, I want to recognize Aaliyah A. She's trying her best every day. She's responsible. She is caring and positive. Keep up the great work, Aaliyah. Okay, guess what? I have another Aaliyah that I plan on recognizing, but it's Aaliyah R. So Aaliyah R has read over 800 books this school year. Good job, Aaliyah. That is a lot of books. Wow, that is a lot. That's awesome. And Brielle B, she made a New Year's resolution to improve her handwriting. Not only has she improved her own handwriting, but she's motivated others to do the same. So great job putting in that hard work and motivating others to do their best. That's awesome. I can't wait to see some samples of your improved handwriting. All right, you guys, we're gonna do some jokes. I know that you've really enjoyed Mr. Parker's jokes. So we have a few more of his jokes for you. Just kidding, we're gonna do some student jokes. <laughs> So we got a lot of jokes. We, I'm going to interrupt you. We got a lot of jokes this week because of Mr. Parker being on the video last week. Just saying that if Mr. Parker, you're listening, <laughs> thank you. it served us well. So we're going to do a joke from Abel S. And so Abel S. sent in, who's there? Euripides. Euripides who? Euripides clothes, you pay for them. <laughs> When I read that, it made me laugh. That's a great one. That's a very original one. I've never heard that before. That's awesome. Eli, who is a frequent joke contributor and really wanted to make sure that Mr. Parker did not come back on this segment, sent in, I think, about 10 jokes. And here's one of them. Wait, wait, How wait. Does a I want to share what he wrote in that. He shared them with the contingency that we do not invite Mr. Parker back. <laughs> Gotta love his sense of humor. We love you, Mr. Parker. Okay, here's Eli's joke. How does a scientist freshen her breath? I don't know how, Mr. Willett. A scientist freshens her breath with experiments. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. <laughs> That's so good. Thank you, I Eli. It. It's I better than the dad jokes. That's good. But so Mr. Parker had a science joke last week. I wonder if Eli was inspired by Mr. Parker. Oh, I'm sure he was. I'm sure he was. <laughs> All right, you guys. So I want to talk about Friendship Day that's coming up next week because we're doing that friendship challenge. So we are going to challenge you to go out of your way to talk to someone new or do something nice for someone that you know. So here's an example. If you see a kid on the playground that is sad or alone, talk to them, ask them to play with you. We have such a beautiful culture at Sonoma and that comes from you guys, reaching out, including your peers and being amazing friends. We have so many friends at, oops, it only printed one, <laughs> just kidding. So we have so many beautiful things about that makes Sonoma 
it's rich. And that comes from you guys being there for each other, being supportive. And we have so many kids that are so unique and so different. And you guys, your acceptance and your inclusion of them, it's so, so beautiful. So continue to do that. And it's okay if you don't have friends, go out of your, maybe talk to somebody new today too. Maybe you could be the one that talks to someone new, but there should be no reason that anybody feels left out. So we challenge you, do something nice for somebody else. Talk to somebody new at school. <laughs> and coupling that on thought of Friendship Challenge Week, um, hopefully you will work with your teacher and um, participate in our virtual Valentines because we would like to send some virtual Valentines to some special Sonoma students. So be thinking about who you could reach out to, talk to your teacher and um, see what we can do to celebrate Valentine's Day during COVID-19 pandemic. On that note, every single Thursday, we're doing college awareness. And so I wanted to highlight a word on my shirt because it, you know, Thursday yesterday, <laughs> it was a stand state. And so I am an alumni, which means I went there. That is a word that shows that you went somewhere. So I am an alum of stand state. <laughs> And you can check out our Sonoma Facebook page because I posted a picture of one of our awesome fourth graders with his Stan State t-shirt that he had from his brother who's currently attending there. So check out our social media. That is awesome. All right, Mr. Willett. We're so in sync and I'm excited about that because Mr. Parker really struggled with being in sync with me last week. So on the count of three, let's say it. Sonoma rocks. <laughs> Bye, guys. Have a great weekend.